Okay, so here's the exterior shot of the Motor Yacht 37 Fontaine Peugeot catamaran. Uh, survey is going on right now. So we're, Lalani's up there looking at all the uh, systems. We're gonna head out in a little while and uh, go over and get this hauled out and then we'll do the sea trial shortly thereafter. Not on call, perfect name. Okay, so we're off to have the uh, boat uh, hauled out at uh, Dania Beach. So we're gonna use uh, Harbor Town Marina for the haul out. We're just cruising through Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Real life. <laughs> Yacht life. <laughs> Lani, I'm recording video of you. Nice. <laughs> How's it going so far? So far, so good. So far, so good? So you got the fuel tank. Oh, right there? Okay. Cool. It looks super clean. Super clean, yep. No rust. Double Perfect. clamped, everything looks really good. Our, all the hoses are double clamped. Everything's nice and uh, clean, so we're no corrosion, we're good there. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> what part of the job? Yeah. <laughs> Engine room yoga. So everything's networked together with the um, instruments to the Garmin? Yeah, like, like the autopilot, the radar, obviously. Yeah. Is a chain counter here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love. You know, stress. Yeah, exactly. Did you let it on the feet or not? Uh huh. So you can raise and lower. And then there's a, an additional hand control down in the uh, out locker. Oh, yeah, we saw that before. You open that locker and there's another controller down there. Okay. But this is good for when you're single handed. And then also, like I said, you, you know exactly how much you let out. Perfect. So you sleep easier. Nice. It does have a bridle. Okay. And then, obviously, you can get eyes and glass for this. Did this just come with the factory with this? To here? Okay. Oh, really? Okay. It's much harder. You see how clear it is? Yeah, it's super clear. Yeah, it's thicker. Yeah, so if we clean this, then you wouldn't even see any spots. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's nice and. 
Yeah. So when it's clean, it's crystal clear. You can't even tell the difference. So it's, it's a nice upgrade. And they did it because they took the boat up north one time. Uh, when I say up north, I mean uh, Savannah. Yeah. And it happened, there happened to be a breeze. While they were there. So oh, okay. Into the, uh, coming into Savannah, there was you know ice on everything, ice on the boat. Uh -huh. And they didn't have this. Okay. Freezing cold, so they uh, they got this and they're happy. Nice. And as you see, it just easily yeah. pops out. Zip it closed. Sorry for my mother. Perfect. Yeah, those clips are really nice. Was this done locally here? Uh, yes. yes, it was. Yep. Crossing underneath 17th Street Bridge here. the Dania Cut with Harbortown Marina. The Lani's just checked all the uh, engine shaft and transmission and all that. Okay, so at the haul out phase here, this is where we're gonna check the bottom paint on the boat. And we're gonna check the propellers, the cutlass bearings, see if any of uh, the underwater running gear needs any service. Paint looks great on this. Very, very good. What's up? 
uh, Lolani is. Okay, we're at the Harbor Town shipyard. You see, this is where they're doing bottom jobs on a lot of these boats. This is survey day, and we're surveying the Fountain de Joe 37 foot motor yacht. It's Joseph. And when we get here to the survey office, we've got to pay for the, uh, well, when we get here for the haul out, we got to pay for the haul out. So I'm heading over to the headquarters pay for this haul out, and then we'll get the inspection done back in the water and we'll be on to our sea trial. Okay, here we are at the Dockmaster office at Harbor Town. We just paid for the haul out for this particular boat. It's a 37 foot boat. So here's our receipt. We're at uh, $365, very, very reasonable price. So uh, 333 plus taxes and environmental fees. So $9 per foot. This is one of the best places to uh, get a short haul done here in Fort Lauderdale. Harbor Town Marina. Eddie is the uh, manager here at the yard. Okay, heading back into the yard, walking by a nice 105 foot Mangusta with uh, double jet drives, probably MTU motors on that. Back to the Fountain Brazil. 37 motor yacht. So what we're looking for here is any blisters in the paint. We want to see what the overall condition is on it. And uh, if there's any blisters or any uh, warping or anything like that, we want to find that out. Cutlass bearings? That's what it was, yeah. Okay. So, other than that, everything else looks pretty good. Bottom's down. Um, we have a, like, a couple of blisters right here. Okay. Um, which they're, they're tiny. They do smell like vinegar. So, they need to be just next time they bought it, paint it to be ground out, sand okay. out. You know, that's the only place I saw though. How much longer do you think the bottom has? Could do it now for peace of mind or? It was, it was done back in. 15 months ago. 15 months Probably ago. do. I mean, you can see where you can see prime up on the bow, on the keel especially. Yeah. You, know, you got things like this that are just, you know, the paint's coming off. Yeah. Like yeah. right here. If you look on the, uh, see, see the, see the rusting here? Yeah. Well, this is, this is just gross, but um, this needs to be, they both need to be bonded. Both, both struts on the inside, they're rusting. Okay. It's because there's, there's no bonding wire. Okay. Not a big deal. And then these. And then it needs zinks. And then it needs cutlass bearings. And yeah, cutlass bearings. Oh yeah, okay. And they're both the same way. Does it need bearings just on the strut or does it need it up up in there as well? It, it'll just be needed in the strut. I'm not sure how that, I can't see that inside. I think the shaft just comes through, that's where the dripless shaft is. Yeah. So I, I don't think there's any, anything there, it's just one cutlass bearing. So I mean, it could, be, it could be a two piece cutlass bearing, but I think it's just a one piece cutlass bearing. And that's prop speed that's on there, right? Yep, which is yeah. great. So, it needs things. I mean, yeah. you know, you can see you have different you know, things. Okay. Sorry. Other than that, I mean, Bottom looks good. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, this is the rudder that's leaking, the rudder post. Okay. So if he, it has that nylon bushing, this one's not leaking. Okay. But if he's going to service them at the same time, I don't know if they're just nylon bushing. Okay, yeah. So the nylon bushing on the rudder post. Starboard side, yeah. It, it's a, it, port it, side. It, it, uh, um, yeah, port side, sorry. Up, up top. You know, you'll see it up, up there. You can see where it's okay, going. it's just dripping a little yeah. bit? It, yeah, it's just leaking inside. You see the water running back down? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. And we should probably do both at the same time. Might as well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna have it out of water to do one, you might as well yeah. do both. Yeah. yeah. Do one and then the parts are not Uh-huh. The, the parts are cheap, yeah. It's a haul out to go to the parts. Yeah. Well, the labor's easy and easy to get to, so. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. So, outro, overall good shape? Good to go. Good to go <laughs> okay. 
So we're here, we're paid, we're going to go back in the water. See Tron. See how it spins now. Yeah, so this platform doesn't lower. You could add the uh, lift to it if you want, but I was incorrect before. I thought it lowered down. That can be added, but right now this pivots and then rotates and then the dinghy launches from there. So we're going to demonstrate that later on. Yacht management that I use a lot here for repairs. We do decide to get this bottom painted. We'll probably have them manage the project. Do the cutlass bearings, the bottom paint, and the uh, nylon for the uh, rudder.
How'd it run? Good. Good? We got an RPM fine. Full RPM. Um, turbo, uh, boost, pressure, fuel pressure, everything's good. Oil pressure's good. Everything's cool. Good. Yeah. So you can monitor the pressure on this from the computer. Yeah, and then the good, but nice. you definitely want to get the um, post bearings yeah. taken care of because that will definitely increase the RPM a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Vibration, yeah. What What was our top speed? I was amazed how smooth it was up front, you know? You can you can feel the vibration in the back, but when you're up front, it's like right. you're just skating over it. It's awesome. Yeah, this is the only kind of sailboat I want to <laughs> The only sailboat. Don't be calling me for an actual sailboat. Okay, so we're back here at the, uh, at the dock. Uh, everything went pretty well. The boat got up to full speed, um, had full RPMs and power. Uh, we did discover when we pulled it out that uh, this boat needs uh, some cutlass bearings on it and uh, bushing on one of the uh, one of the propeller. Sorry, one of the uh, rudder um, posts needs a new bushing on it. So this is why we do the survey. So we figure out all the stuff. Uh, we're collecting the oil samples now, and uh, we'll be getting the survey results together in a couple days. So this is the dinghy being launched here 